Peace. This is King Noble Black Supremacy. And with this particular video, I want to talk about T.I.'s, rapper T.I.'s recent arrests down in Georgia, in Stockbridge, in Henry County. Which I believe Henry County is a racist county. And T.I. said it out of his own mouth that there's nothing but pretty much white police officers around there. White cops. Now he got into an altercation with the security guard in his gated community in probably an all white neighborhood. And I find it interesting that these black activists and black icons will be living in an all white gated community. I just find that interesting that as hood and as thug and as gangster and as black conscious and as activists as they are, that they're still living in a white gated community with white cops, pretty much white, predominantly white police force. Like, why wouldn't they buy their own land, hire their own security guard, have their own house built, and pretty much run their own community? Or at least build their own gated community. Why wouldn't they do that? But that's a whole nother video. So he tries to get in the building, and, and one story is he tried to get in the building, and the security guard wouldn't let him in because he left his keys, that they wouldn't let him in. And they called the police on him. And got in, they got into some argument or altercation with him. And he was arrested for disorderly conduct. Public drunkenness. And a simple assault. Another story I'm hearing. Is that he, the security did let him in. Even though he didn't have his keys. And he came back and got into an argument with the security guard. That ultimately he was arguing with the black security guard because the security guard was sleeping on a job. So he was admonishing this black security guard for sleeping on a job. The black security guard felt threatened and intimidated and called the white police for backup for security and T.I. was arrested for public drunkenness, disorderly conduct, and a simple assault and threatening the security guard. Either way, I don't know what the true story is. I wasn't there. Either way it happened. He's in an all white gated community in a racist county in Georgia. And I would say my whole overlook on the story is that T.I. oftenly mistakes himself as a house nigga. Even though, and, and he's got to be one of the most confused individuals I've ever observed. Because even though he often mistakes himself as a house nigga, he would like to feel like he's a radical feel nigga. Or plotting being a runaway slave. He likes to, he likes to play on that narrative that he's, he's, he's a rebel or, you know, he's like Tupac. That he's somewhat revolutionary. But we can see through this incident that just occurred that he mistakes himself for a house nigga. But what he failed to realize is just because Massa let you in the house doesn't make you a house nigga. Sometimes the Massa let the field niggas in the house too. Every now and then. The security guard is a real house nigga. Even though T.I. got all the money and the wealth and is able to live in some white gated community in some white suburb somewhere. He's still a field nigga. His money just allowed him in the house a little bit to look around. That he may have gotten. Just because you have a lot of money doesn't give you the reward. You're not rewarded for having a lot of money as a black person in society. We often make that mistake. We think because we have more money will be rewarded by white people. No, you'll be actually more punished if you have more money. That's a fact. Because while you may have arisen in class, your race ain't changed. And the culture of racism has not disappeared. So just because you have more money, you won't be rewarded. But the security guard who has less money than T.I. is more of a house nigga then T.I., he's doing the job of the house. He's helping control and maintain the house, the gated community. What's behind the gates is white supremacy. 
So the security guard is doing his job. He's doing what master told him to do by the book. Any licensed security guard is a house nigger. And a lot of times security guards are in the bed with the police. They're like flashlight cops. They're just as good as a cop. And cops bag security guards and side with security guards like they do their own fellow officers. This is a fact. So the security guard is a real house nigger. But T.I. thought, you know, well, maybe the security guard is under me. I'm paying all this money. I lived in this gated community. And he don't know that he's a field nigger that's just been let in the house. That it's not reflective of him. That he's not a privileged Negro. He's not in no privileged position or he's not other than a Negro. He's still like everybody else. But he mistaken himself for a minute as being a house nigger. And he thought that the security guard worked for him. And was supposed to do his job for T.I. Not realizing that the security guard's only job is to maintain the infrastructure of white supremacy. Which has nothing to do with black fame or black wealth or black accomplishment or black success. It doesn't really work for that. You're supposed to maintain the construct of white supremacy, which is racism at the end of the day. Which is racial profiling, which is protecting white wealth from black militancy. Protecting white people in the white establishment from black people taking over. I mean, that's, that's the main function of, of it. So he just he just thought he was a house nigga and he just started talking like, you know, he even felt like he was the master. And he started admonishing the security guard. And it, it backfired on him. Because there was an air of self-righteousness there, you know, obviously. Maybe the security guard made a mistake or he took his job too seriously. This type of shit happens. And T.I., kind of arrogant admonished them and you know belittled them and buffooned them and the security guard took it personally and called the police to have T.I. locked up this is a fact this type this type of stuff happens all the time instead of realizing that hold up they only allowing me the institution of white supremacy, which the security guard represent, and which the police represent, they're only allowing him in there. He's not heir of his own right. Whether he owned the property or not, it doesn't mean nothing. Ownership means nothing if you have no control. Rockefeller told you that. You want more control than you want ownership. Those who control will even dictate your experience of ownership. So ownership really means nothing if you don't control so black people really need to be trying to get more to a control situation. So T.I. mistaken himself as a house nigger. He just went at Kanye West for saying we chose to be slaves and he was saying some, some, some revolutionary shit, you know. Standing on the side of black people. We didn't choose to be no slaves. Kanye West is arrogant and uppity. You know, thinking he made it somewhere and he's making the choices now. He's, he's the chooser now. But he won't even be able to choose what medication he take day to day. But, so T, I tried to be a stand-up person and represent people who are suffering, who are in pain, who are really being tortured by white supremacy. So you're thinking, okay, well, this is, a, this is an awakened field nigga that's getting ready to run away from Massa. And then you see this situation arise. Where he mistakes himself as a house nigga. This type of bipolarism or schizophrenia exists in Hollywood. Where they're acting, but then they actually believe that they're the actors. Like they fall in inside of the, they fall in and out of the roles throughout the day. To the point they lose touch with reality. To the point where they don't even know what the reality of the matter is. Or the situation that they are really and actually in. That they believe the hype about themselves. And they buy into the illusion. That surrounds them. And they lose touch with reality themselves. That's what happens to a lot of them. I see this happening over and over again. This is my message to T.I. The master just let you in the house. And you wouldn't even be talking to Kanye West. If master ain't let you in the house. But don't think you a house nigger. 
Because house niggas are not are the bottom of the totem pole. But the, they're, but they're respected more than the, the affluent, the black affluent. Just because you, you're a black affluent person. Don't mean you're going to get more respect than the house nigga. House niggas maintain white supremacy. They do the job of maintaining white supremacy. And they're the white man's go-to man to make sure that the white supremacy construct is being maintained. Don't never get so elevated in yourself to believe that you didn't took over master's house without a revolution. Or that you somehow a, a, a house nigga, but you ain't playing the menial daily positions of having an overseer over your head and playing by his rules and his licenses, playing by his rules. That's what makes you a house nigga, that you're committed to play by his rules every single day. And yeah, there's degrees to this thing. There's degrees to it. But you'll find out what degree you in when shit go down. And I just hope you're aware of that degree when you find out.